You are, you are, you are my everything. You make my heart go tingling, baby. You got what I need. You are all I see. You was made for me. That's why we are the perfect team. The Baileys, the Baileys, the Baileys. Yeah, that's right. The Baileys, the Baileys. Welcome to our life. <laughs> I love you, Mrs. Bailey. I love you too, Mrs. Bailey. No. Okay, guys. So my wife has brought me to Norma's, Norma's Cafe. <laughs> Norma's Cafe. Uh, which is Marvellous. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty cool restaurant. Uh, not a lot of us in there, in here, but uh, we shall see. She tripping y'all. So she's saying I'm tripping. How you find out about this restaurant, baby? My sister. What's your sister name? What her name? Come with your offer. You're supposed to be advertising. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is um, the cafe. So, pretty nice, pretty cool. Oh, we have bread. I know she know I'm gonna have to need. I'm gonna need more butter than this. Oh no, I'm slumped down off for now. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I had it on your boob. You want some what? Pepper sauce. Pepper sauce on your rolls? No, no, on my food. You need this. So you're gonna put me on blast like that? You might need this damn Tabasco. I might. Okay, I'm so done. She said she wants some honey on her rolls. Rub be on across it. Huh? What? Oh my god. Okay, guys. So, um, on yesterday, today is what? Thursday, Thursday, my grandmother, my uh, paternal grandmother, my dad's mom, passed away on yesterday, and just glad that I got the chance to say goodbye before she took her last breath. Breaths, um, all the families out there for support. So I am off from work on bereavement, and my wife is off from work on bereavement as well. Um, which we didn't know that she got because she's my wife. Put my roll on my plate. So um, she decided to bring me on a date to make me feel better. And try to make me eat something because I haven't eaten too much all day. I had a can of Aina sausage. Not enough. And a pack of Cheetos. So Not good enough. I know I might be looking a little rough right now, but I just appreciate my life. I like that. Of course, guys, I like a lot of butter on my roll. And this is going to be a review for Norma's Cafe. I'm going to put a little honey, which I really don't need. But it is what it is. Cornbread looks pretty good, too. Nice, crispy, golden brown. Oh, you want honey, too? My wife is like me. She used to not use that much butter. But you know, having a chunky wife make you make you use extra fatty shit like that. <laughs> and that I am chunky money. All right, y'all. I tell you, our food has arrived, and this shit is huge, but it looks very good. So I'm gonna let y'all see. What you got? Chicken fried steak. Big ass chicken fried steak. Um, black eyed peas, mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes and gravy. And I have black eyed peas. Chicken fried meal. chicken, last I have chicken fried chicken, mac and cheese, my gravy on the side, and my mashed potatoes. Want to be like me. So this will be a short review. We're gonna see what this tastes like, see what it do, and then we'll get back to you when we finish. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, I got a little of my chicken fried. It's about ten minutes in. <laughs> Black eyed peas are gone. They were wonderful. The potatoes have a nice seasoning. Still have a little of that left. My wife's still peeling her food. I'm gonna eat more than you. Lies. All right, y'all, we are done. I am full as hell. Um, for Norma's Cafe, on a scale of one to 10, I would give you up. my lips crusty. Never mind, y'all. On a scale of one to 10, I give it a 
Nine and a half. It's actually, actually really, really good. Give them a strong eight, five, nine. What? I scored higher than you? How much was that? I said a nine and a half. What? A nine and a half, yeah. If they had alcoholic beverages, they had Huh, so I didn't know alcoholic beverages. We barely ate our food. Y'all see, we still got um, to go containers. You better so, eat your food than both yours. Oh my god. I ate all my food. She ate all my food alive. Y'all, when I tell y'all we are so freaking full. This is ridiculous. My intent was to go have a drink now at this moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> they got them new drinks called nappers. <laughs> <laughs> Where the heck, Alright, yep. oh, yeah, my baby got me in the gay club. No, I'm not out the closet yet. Damn, I hope my family don't see this. <laughs> anyway, we came to have a drink. I was going to get a Bloody Mary, but um. Strong. Yeah, I'm a little bit. Oh, hell no. Nah. Don't say that while you, you need me to drive, baby. Oh, my God, y'all. <sighs> my wife is taking me to have some good food. Um, to have a good they drink. Huh? I told them they better move. They teach that them hoes can't read. They say do not enter. We are leaving Cedar Springs, gay area for Dallas, Texas. I'm from Dallas. Dallas, Texas. It ain't your walk, but go. When I tell y'all, fuck them. They get their good things out the way. Good bitches. Don't make it. So I don't know what's on the agenda for now. First, we supposed to been doing, what you call it, baby? Bar hop? Yeah. We supposed to been doing bar hop, but I told her I didn't want another drink. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hopping with her. Then we're going to go do face hop. I don't know where she got that lie from. But anywho, um, super full. My wife got me out of the house. We both needed to get out, but she got me out. Out of my funk, like I said, my grandmother passed away um, on yesterday. Ooh. I'm out on my three-day bereavement from my job. Um, been kind of emotional. My other grandma, my granny granny, my goosey granny came to me in my dream last night so I guess she was that's her way of saying hey it's gonna be okay or telling me that she's sorry that my other grandma passed away um but anywho we're headed to child who knows be back in a minute 